Today on The Joy of Editing, I'll show you how to transform your photos into art using Photoshop Beta and Generative Fill. I'll also share helpful tips, tricks, and a free action for you to download. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I'm excited about this tutorial today. I'm going to show you how I can take this photograph and turn it into a piece of art. And it's really not that hard to do, but I have some special tips and tricks for you as well as a free action that you can download to speed up this process for you. This technique I'm about to show you, I did not come up with. I've watched different YouTube videos, people doing this, and there's different ways of going about it. I'm going to show you the way I think is the quickest and easiest, but I'll go a step further to really help you speed up this process. And that is I've made an action for you that you can download. Now watch the video the whole way through to the end first, because I have a lot of different tips and tricks that'll really help you out. So you don't want to miss any of this tutorial today. Well, let's turn this into a oil painting first. So what I want you to do is, in Photoshop Beta, you want to find your toolbar, okay? And you want to find this button right here. It's for Quick Mask. And what you want to do is click on that, or you could just type Q in your keyboard. That's step one. You can tell when you're in Quick Mask mode because see where it says background? It's in red, letting me know I'm in Quick Mask mode. Next, what you need to do is select the entire image. And to do that, it's Command A on a Mac. Control A on a PC. And now we can see by the marching ants around the entire image that I've selected the entire image. The next thing we need to do is fill it. Now you could use a shortcut of shift delete for fill or else you could come up here to edit and click on fill here. Either way works. Now I want you to notice right here and follow me closely here. This says contents and this is a drop down. No matter if yours says color or something else in here, I always want you to click on the drop down and I'll show you why. So let's click on the drop down and I do want color. This is important. But notice when I click on color, a color picker comes up, okay? And what you need to do is for hue, saturation, and brightness, HSB, you need a value of zero for hue, zero for saturation, and 30% for brightness. Now, if you have a different number in here, you could just highlight this and type zero. Or if you have a different brightness value, you can highlight this and type three zero for 30%. Once you do that, you need to click on OK. And then you also need to click on OK here. But notice before I click OK, notice that my background layer is red, highlighted red here. That is because Initially, I clicked on this quick mass mode button or typed Q. Now, right now, you do not see my contextual taskbar and it is open. But watch what happens when I click OK. Because remember, I'm in quick mass mode, but I'm going to click OK and fill this with that 30% gray. So I'm going to click OK. You see the red overlay here. We don't actually see the 30% gray. And you're not supposed to. You're supposed to see the red overlay. You can see I have my contextual taskbar up here and I'm in the generative fill mode. Okay. Now, by the way, if you don't have your contextual taskbar, just come up to window and come down to contextual taskbar and make sure that's checked on or you won't see it. And it's important that you see it here because we'll be using it. So we have this red overlay. All we need to do is either type Q, which is the shortcut for quick mask, or click on the quick mask button. So I'm just going to type Q. And you notice the red overlay went away. Now I still have a selection here. We just don't see it. And now with the taskbar up here, you can see here's generative fill. So I'll click on this and let's just type in like oil painting and we'll click on generate. This takes about 15 to 20 seconds to generate. So I'm not going to make you wait. So let's skip ahead. And now you can see I have an oil painting. Now, remember, we have three different uh, variations. Here's the first one. I'll click on this arrow right here. Here's the second variation. And here is the third variation. OK, I don't know if I like any of those. So I'm going to click generate and generate three more. All right, here's the first variation. I kind of like this one. Here's the second. It's OK. Not real crazy about it. And here is the third. Now, I don't like that one at all. I kind of like this one. But here's the thing, and this is a tip. 
If you don't like something, generate again. You, sometimes you might have to generate two, three, four, five times, but eventually you're going to get something that you will like. But let's say, for instance, I like this one. And you might say, hey, this is okay, but this face looks really dumb. I don't like it. And this is what I have not seen in other tutorials when they're turning photos into, like, say, an oil painting. And I'm going to show you how to do different mediums of art as well. Now, remember, we're using generative fill. So I have my lasso tool. You can type L to get your lasso tool. And then just draw a selection around the owl's head, like so. Then come up to generative fill, click on it, and I'll type in owl head and generate. And now look at that. Now we have a really cool head. Now let's check the other variations. Here's another variation. That's cool too, and here's a third. But this is what I've been missing on other tutorials, and I figured there's got to be a way because I don't want to just settle for the painting that Photoshop gives me, okay? So I can fix it. So say I like that. But now I say... I don't have any claws down here, any feet. So let's go ahead. Forgive me if I'm not saying that right. S draw a circle lasso around here and let's type in our feet. See if it understands me and I'll click on generate. And there's a foot right there. And let's try another variation. That one doesn't look like a painting. That one doesn't either. And look, it's got a band on it right there. And let's do a third one. Okay, so that one's not too bad. But let's change that up. Let me put in oil painting our feet and now we'll generate again okay now that looks more like a painting let's try another variation okay that's pretty good okay so you see what i'm doing here sometimes you have to coax it by putting in like oil painting our feet you could try our feet first but then try oil painting so look at that i'm not done yet i have more to show you here if we look at the original image, you can see it wasn't very exciting in the background. And so the result I got was this. But say I don't like that background. Now, it's not bad. It looks pretty cool. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to stamp all these layers together. The shortcut is Shift, Option, Command, or Control, E. Stamps all your layers together. And now, with the contextual taskbar, I want you to click on Select Subject. And now it selects the owl. And what I want to do is add this uh, tree branch here. So I'll hold my shift key down with my lasso tool and I'll just loosely draw around this branch just like this and add that into the selection. And now I need to invert that. So you can invert it right here. So click invert. And now let's type in um, oil painting forest and click generate and check that out. That's one variation. Here's another. Not bad. Here's another. Okay, a little busy back there. Let's uh, click over here in the properties panel. Let's click generate again and do three more. Okay, so there's one. Here's another one. That one's pretty cool. And let's try this one. Now let's really get creative. Let me go ahead and in front of oil painting, I'll type in Van Gogh oil painting and click generate. Okay, so now check it out. Now they have the more Van Gogh type paint strokes. There's one. Here's another one. That's pretty cool. And here's the last one. Yeah, I really like that. It does have that Van Gogh feel to it. So that's a tip. So that's for oil painting. But now let's try something. What if we wanted to mix mediums? I'll show you what I mean. Instead of typing in the taskbar, I'm going to go to the properties panel and we can put anything in here we want. Okay, so here's a tip for you. I went ahead and opened up Firefly Online, and I just have an image here that I've generated here. But what I want you to notice here is, under Styles, I have all checked on. Do you see these different styles like steampunk, science fiction, psychedelic, pop art, cubism, cyberpunk, of course, concept art? This is my tip. I think that Photoshop will probably recognize most of these different styles. So... Whenever you want to go and make a different style for your photograph, it's probably best to choose one of these styles from here. And so just find a name that you like. For instance, I'm going to try Vector Look. So right now I have Van Gogh Oil Painting Forest. I can work from here, the contextual taskbar, or over here. So I'm just going to type in, I'll highlight Van Gogh Oil Painting, and I'll type in Vector Look. Vector Look Forest, and I'll type Generate. And now check it out. So there's one version. Here's another. And here is another. 
So that's pretty cool, right? So I can mix mediums here. You know, I have the vector look in the background, the oil painting in the front. Let's try watercolor forest generate. Okay, pretty cool, right? That's the first version. Here's the second. I like that. And here's the last. Now, of course, I'm mixing mediums and I really like this. But now are you ready for another tip? What if I wanted my owl to be watercolor now? You know, I originally started off with oil painting. But as I experiment around here, I can play around and change things up any way I want. We're working with Photoshop. What I need to do is select this owl. So what I want to do is go back to this layer where I pulled everything together. Let me shut this one off. There's my oil painting, right? So I'm going to click on here. And now I can use the taskbar, the contextual taskbar, to click on Select Subject. And it finds my subject for me. Okay, now again, I want to add the branch in as well. So with my lasso tool, I'll type L. Hold my Shift key down so I can add to it. And I'm going to do this really quick. And hopefully I do a good enough job here. Just to add all that in like so. So now that's all added in. Now we need to make the top layer active. So click on it. And now it's active. And now we can click on generative fill and type in watercolor owl on branch. And we'll type generate. Okay, so there's one version. Here's another version. That's interesting. And here's the third version. Not bad. A little whimsical, right? We could click generate again. Okay, so I kind of like that one. Here's another one. I like that too. And here's the third one. Let's go with this one. Now, what if I don't like the face? Again, with my lasso tool, I can come around, or the head, I should say, come around the head here. And now we can type in owl head generate. Okay, I don't like that one. Let's try this one. Oh, that one's not too bad. Or this one. I kind of like that one. I kind of think it fits really well here. Now, I don't like this area, so I'm going to lasso around this area right like this. Let's click on Generative Fill and click Generate, and that cleans that up. There's one version. Here's another version. Here's another version. So whichever one you like. I think I like the second one. And this little white area in here, let's go ahead and just lasso around that. But you see how easy this is? It takes a little bit of thought and effort, but you can do it. Let's click on Generative Fill again and click Generate. Okay, so that looks pretty good. There's one version. Here's two. Here's the third. And let's see. I think I like that one. Okay, so there you go. And again, his feet are gone now. So let's lasso right around here. I'll click on Generative Fill and type in Watercolor Owl Feet and click Generate. Okay, there's one version. Here's another version. And here's a third version. Let's just go with that, but we could keep playing until we get one that we really liked. I don't like this area here, so I'm just going to lasso around here and click on Generative Fill, Generate, see what I get. Okay, that looks a little bit better. There's one version, here's the second version, and here is the third. I think I'll go with the second version. I think that looks okay. Now let's talk about the action that I'm giving you. Don't forget to download it. There'll be a Dropbox link in the description right below this video. After you've downloaded it, click on your Actions button and then click the little hamburger menu because you got to load it up and then find Load Actions. Click on Load Actions. Your file browser will open up. And just point that file browser to wherever you downloaded your action. And in my case, mine's in my download folder right here. And here it is right here, Photo to Painting, this action right here. Click on that and click open. That'll install your action into your actions folder. Mine's already there, so I'm going to click cancel. So here's this image again. It's just the background layer. All you need to do is click on not the folder, but photo to painting inside the folder. If your folder's not open, just click this little arrow right here, and that'll open up the folder and click on photo to painting and click play. And that's it. You've run your action. And now we can close out our actions by clicking the play button again. Okay, so now all you have to do is come up to generative fill and type in whatever you want. Oil painting and click generate. And there's your oil painting. And then remember, you have three versions. So here's our second version. Oh, that's a good one. And here's our third. And remember, you can keep clicking generate over here. And now you have three more versions that you can look at. And don't forget, you can, you know, circle around the head here and then regenerate the owl's head. 
just like I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial. But anyway, this is how you work with the action. It really speeds up your workflow, as you can see. So again, just come up here, open up your actions, and find the photo to painting folder, and open it up and click on photo to painting, and click on play, and that runs your action. And once your action is run, you can just come to generative fill and type in watercolor, oil painting, or whatever you want. But before I close, let me show you some of the things I created with this same image here. Using the same techniques I showed you at the beginning of the tutorial. Here's another one. And I'll just go through these kind of fast here. I just want you to see some of the possibilities here. And I'll skip through some of these. Here's a mixed media where I'm using layered paper with the oil painting owl. Here's another layered paper. I really like that one. Check this one out. This one's pretty cool. And uh, here's another one. I like that one. Check this one out. A lot of fun. I like the color in here. But the possibilities are pretty endless. You can just keep playing around. I like this one. Now, here's like a prompt that I used. It was like Van Gogh oil painting. See if you can spot some Van Gogh brush strokes in here. Pretty cool. I really like this one. And let's try this one here. I used this one in the opening scene of this video, I believe. Here's another one. This one is a watercolor with uh, oil painting, mixed media. And here is another one. That one's kind of fun, a little busy, but fun. Here's another one. But there you go. That's just some of the stuff that I've come up with. And I'm continuing to experiment and I'll do more videos. If you want to see more videos like this, like maybe some art start to finish, I'd be happy to show it to you. Let me know in the comments section below. Well, there it is, everyone. I'm going to continue to experiment and see what other kind of stuff I can come up with here. If you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon, and then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Cully. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.